Hey guys, welcome back and happy Friday. Today I wanted to start a new series here on my channel called Foundation Friday where I'm going to test out a new foundation every other Friday, eventually maybe every Friday. I love foundation so much. It's honestly one of my all-time favorite beauty products, favorite like makeup essential. I think that it could really change your whole appearance and your skin, especially for someone like me. I suffer with acne and a lot of redness, a lot of discoloration and stuff. So foundation is my number one. I wear it every single day. I love I love me a good foundation. So I wanted to start this series by just testing out lots of different foundations. And if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try that foundation out. I will be testing all the aspects of every foundation that I try. I'm going to go from the finish to the coverage to the wearability to the longevity of it. I will be wearing it all throughout the day and doing check-ins, letting you guys know how it's looking, how it's wearing, what's happening with it as the hours go on. And I will be applying it with a sponge and with a brush so you guys could see the different finishes and what works best with it. And so yeah, hope you guys are excited as I am for this new little series and let's get started. Today we are going to be testing the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. It says on the bottle that it is a undetectable medium to full coverage foundation that is oil free. And on the website here it says this oil free foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin for the perfect, naturally flawless finish and coverage. So undetectable, they'll think you're born this way. I think that that, I couldn't have said it better myself, you know? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> okay. Details, coconut water helps delicately replenish skin's moisture levels without over drying, infused with the resilient apolline rose to brighten the skin's appearance and promote elasticity. Hyaluronic acid provides long-lasting skin balancing hydration for a smoother, more youthful appearance. It comes in 35 shades, which I think is a great shade range. As I'm looking online here, it goes from quite a pale pink tone to a more yellow tone base, way down to like really nice, deep, rich chocolate tones. So looks really good to me. All I have on my face right now is moisturizer and lip balm. I'm not going to be using primer because I always like to test a foundation on its own without a primer so I really see the full potential because you could always apply a primer with any foundation. So we are going to test it out on its own. This has a pump which is amazing very very key and i chose the color nude and i'm not sure whether it's going to be good for me or not but let's see looks pretty good we're going to apply it on one side of the face first and we are going to blend it out maybe i'll blend out with my fingers a little oh whoa whoa I would say off the bat, I think I did apply quite a lot, but it looks very full coverage to me based off of what I just applied, which is honestly my favorite type of look. I personally love full coverage, even day to day, because I want to cover all of this redness and all of this imperfections in my skin. It's blending out really, really beautifully with a sponge. And I will say applying foundation with a sponge is my personal favorite way because I do like full coverage. I find that a sponge kind of helps give me a really nice finish. I am gonna go in, you know what, I'm gonna pump a little on the back of my hand because usually with most foundations, if they have a pump, I just go straight on, but since we're testing it out, I should probably see how much I'm actually using. I didn't really think about that. This side, I'm going to be blending out with my brush, just to see the difference. It's 
So I could tell right away that with a uh, sponge, I got a more kind of satin finish, not necessarily dewy, but I have a little, a little bit, it's not completely flat. Whereas with the brush, it's definitely applying a lot more matte. So I definitely like the sponge side better. I knew I would, honestly, with most foundations. Sponges are just my go-to, they're my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more pump and I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of spot concealing with it. I'm gonna go in before I put any more foundation on and just blend over the brush side with my sponge. But you could totally tell that this side has way more of a matte finish than this one. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but I could definitely see in person. I have oily combination skin, so my T-zone gets oily throughout the day and I could see like down the center of my nose especially, some oils start really peeking through and my chin and kind of my forehead, the very center here, but my cheeks are quite dry. So I like something that works kind of for both skin types because I want it to accommodate to every part of my face. So obviously there are different primers that you could use with that, but if a foundation can do both, like not dry out my dry patches, but also not leave me feeling too oily in my T-zone, that is the ultimate best. So now I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit extra on the really red kind of areas and where my acne is kind of, it's peeking through ever so slightly with one coat. All right, I finished blending it out. It looks so, so good. The coverage on that second coat covered all of my redness and all of the acne that I had that was really, really red. And yeah, it looks awesome. I would say that this has a matte to kind of somewhat satin finish when it's blended out with a sponge. I feel like the sponge and the water in it kind of just gave it a little bit more of that satin finish, but with the brush, it did apply pretty matte. So far, it is not clinging to any of my dry spots, which currently this area for me is quite dry. So we'll see uh, later throughout the day how that's gonna look, but it hasn't oxidized whatsoever, which is an A+. That's something that I always look to in a foundation because it could be kind of tricky when foundations oxidize and turn a little bit darker. That hasn't happened with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to show you guys the finished result of how it looks after all my uh, powders and bronzer and all that stuff is on. All right, you guys, I finished applying my makeup. It is currently 2.57 and I started applying at two o'clock. Sorry, forgot to show you guys my phone so you could see, but it's basically been an hour since I've applied uh, the foundation and it's looking really good. I set very, very lightly with just a slight dusting of translucent powder all over, but I mainly focused it kind of like in my T-zone where I tend to get oily. I don't feel like you really need to set this foundation, but I personally always like to set foundation because I do feel like that helps with the longevity. Also, I usually go in with my MAC Fix Plus and I like really drown my face in it and then kind of pounce it in with my sponge. But for today, I'm not gonna do that. Let me know if you guys think that it's okay to do that for these foundation reviews or you guys want me to skip it and just see how the foundation works on its own without a primer, without a setting spray. Because I think that like I would wanna see what the foundation looks like without anything. So let me know your guys' opinions about that. I'm gonna check back in in a few hours and probably show you guys what it looks like in natural daylight. So this is what it's looking in uh, natural daylight. I think it's looking pretty good, but I'm just having a really bad skin day. <laughs> like my my acne is just really really bad also i'm driving and i shouldn't be doing this so i'll talk to you guys in a second but this is what it's looking like hey guys so i'm doing where do i look 
oh right here <laughs> um wow that was a moment that I just had I was like looking at myself and I was like wait I'm not supposed to be looking at myself anyways um so I am doing my checkup it has now been three hours it's five o'clock on the dot right now and I have been running around like a chicken. I'm I'm actually standing in my closet right now, hopefully. I mean, this lighting seems okay, but like I said earlier, I'm having an awful skin day. I have so many breakouts right here that are just disgusting. But I feel like the only thing that I see as as of right now, I don't know if the lighting is hitting it weird to where my forehead looks kind of shiny. I don't mind the way it looks. I kind of like a little dew, but around my nose right there, can you see that? I always get a little creasing, but for some reason I'm getting a little more than usual. So I think I'll just tap it a little. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. So maybe I just put a little too much foundation there. Usually I really thin it um, out around there so that it's almost like there's very little foundation. It almost just kind of evens out the redness, but I don't really like to have much foundation there. And I think I didn't really focus on blending it out and getting rid of some of the foundation and it must have kind of collected in there. But apart from that, looking pretty good. So I'll check in in a few more hours. So it's 8.36 right now and honestly I feel like my foundation looks so good. It's now been on my face for how long? Six and a half hours. I think that it looks really bomb for being on for six and a half hours. I did experience some nose creasing but I feel like yeah, not really much oil has been kicking in. So looks really good I'm really impressed I love it I am gonna actually go work out and I think I'm gonna do my last check-in after my workout so let's see how it'll hold up after sweating hard I sweat really hard so let's see all right you guys this is my final check-in literally just came from the gym I'm still dripping sweat literally let me just tap it off this is as much as came off let me just show you the inside of my t-shirt i know that's so gross i usually bring a towel but i forgot so i was wiping my sweat that's not bad actually not that much has come off and transferred however it is definitely breaking apart i was drenched so the fact that my foundation's like still on and i didn't even get that much transfer i'm kind of impressed because there was literally a sweat dripping down my face um, the part that looks the grossest is around my nostrils. With this foundation, I do feel like in most foundations, that's where you could see like the cakiness. Let me zoom you guys in a little. So you can really see right in there. See that? That's where it really starts breaking up and I just want to like wipe it and pat. I feel like I could touch up over this and look really great, but yeah, overall I would say it's on, been on my face now for almost 10 hours. I think that's really bomb considering that's how much typically I wear my foundation anywhere from 9 to 11 hours, so I think that that's really, really good. It withstood me working out pretty decently with, you know, a few touch-ups. I feel like I didn't do any touch-ups throughout the day at all, so like even the center of my face did not look oily. My dry spots did not get drier or it didn't emphasize any of my dry patches. Hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for future videos. Turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. And that way you guys will be able to see all of my foundation Fridays. And if you have any foundation recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to review a product that you guys are interested in and want me to review. 
<sighs> and I hope you guys have an amazing start to your weekend. I will see you guys in my next video. <sighs> Bye guys.